Yo, what's good? This is Chef David Olson with Live Fire Republic, and we've landed here in the very south of Texas, Galveston Bay directly behind us. And today, it's all about the fire, the crawfish, and family. And tonight, we're throwing down the ultimate crawfish boil on Galveston Bay. My friends, you don't want to miss this. Let's go. Look at this. Look at the size of that drum. Are you kidding me? This is actually the lobster of the sea here in Galveston Bay. That is a beautiful, beautiful drum. The meat is tender, it's firm, and it tastes just like lobster. Let's see if we can get this bad boy up. Ready? Here we go. All the way up. All the way up. Oh, what? There we go. <laughs> and that, my friends, is a beautiful drum. Charcoal's down, it's time to get the fires lit. Now, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat. I'm gonna show you ours. It's called the volcano method. Check this out. Our charcoal is piled high across the surface of the grill. And what I'm gonna look to do is clear some space directly here in the center. I'm gonna take our igniter cubes, drop them down into the bottom, and now we're gonna pile the charcoal high and what this is gonna do when lit is create a super rad vortex effect and the heat is just gonna emanate. We have the airflow directly from the bottom. It's gonna push all that heat up to the top. We're really gonna be heating the pile of this charcoal from the inside out. It's gonna be amazing. It gets hot and it goes fast. Things can get a little bit messy here. We're digging our hands in, but listen, Outdoor cooking's about getting dirty and having some fun. And that's what we're doing here. This is gonna decrease the time period it takes to start our fire in half. It's literally just that simple. About five to 10 minutes in, and this charcoal is gonna be raging. Once we're ashed over across the surface of the charcoal, we're ready to start boiling. Now there's several things that I love about the Primo Ceramic Grill, but I'm gonna tell you about the three that I love most. First and foremost, it's an all-American product made by all-American hands right here in the USA for all-American cooks just like this. Now when you open the grill lid, you're gonna notice the XL's massive patented oval shape. It's the only grill of its kind that allows for true two-zone cooking, but today, we're going direct in high heat and plenty of it. Now, when we shift down below, the all-in-one cart allows for tons of access to preparatory space. And these wheels, by the way, allow you to go just about anywhere, from mountaintop to here to seaside to your backyard. We literally just lit the fires and tossed our lines in. Oh, Levi, this is a, ni this is a nice one. Look at this. Look at the bend on that line. What do we got? Oh no. Look. Oh my goodness. We caught an actual stingray. Are you kidding me? What? Wow. Oh. That, um, that to me, I don't think that we're gonna grill it, but it certainly could be amazing shark bait if we we're out here fishing for bulls or great whites or whatever else is found here in the bay. <laughs> All right, now the beauty of this recipe lies in its simplicity. Large stock pot on the fire. Now, the secret to our sauce isn't just in the seasonings. It's in the beer and the seafood stock. Now, some people would say this is a waste of good seafood stock or a waste of good beer. I'm telling you, this is an investment into the best seafood boil 
you've ever had. For this recipe, we're using 12 cups of the seafood stock and a half dozen beers. But I think the real key is making sure to have extra on hand just to stay hydrated. All right, six liters of water in. Now for the first time, we're gonna share Live Fire Republic's secret crawfish boil seasoning. One cup kosher salt. Half cup coarsely ground black peppercorn. Dried minced onion. Dried thyme powder. Dried oregano. Toasted and ground cumin. Roasted granulated garlic. Two parts to one smoked paprika to chili powder. One tablespoon ground cinnamon. And last but not least, dried parsley flakes. That being said, if you want to cut to the chase and buy a store-bought rub or blend, I'd strongly recommend Weber Seasonings, New Orleans Cajun Seasoning. It's perfect for a crawfish boil just like this. Have you ever seen these before? So these are called crawfish. They're super good. What do you think about those? Oh, yeah. I don't like them. <laughs> you don't like those? Well, they're really good. They actually, they taste like shrimp. Do you like shrimp? You do not like shrimp? Do you like seafood? You like right we like regular food here. We don't we don't like seafood, we like regular food. What's your favorite food to eat? Mine is ice cream. Ice cream, what's your favorite food, Alex? Just regular. <laughs> Just regular food? What's your favorite thing to eat if you don't like what about sausage? Do you like sausage? I like sausage on ice cream. You don't like sausage on ice cream? No one likes sausage on ice cream, you goofball. I do. What? Alex, do you like sausage on ice cream? No. What? What, what? do you like on your ice cream? Nothing. Nothing? Pickles. Just ice cream? Mm. Yeah. Gross. Gross. All right, Daddy's got to go do some work. You girls going to have some fun? All right, give me some pound towns. Ah, oh, bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> All right, go on off with Mama. Daddy's going to get to work, okay? All right, go have fun. Now the best seafood boils are all about keeping things super simple and ultra fresh. Now, we started with about 30 pounds of crawfish harvested directly from the muddy bayous of Louisiana and overnighted here to Galveston. We donated half to the fishermen casting lines next to our dock. The remainder are going into our stock pot. And this is gonna be so insanely good.
For the aromatics in a traditional crawfish style of seafood boil, we're using corn on the cob. Actually, I have some grapefruit that we're gonna tune up with a little bit of citrus alongside lemon, garlic, heirloom potatoes, and red onion. Simply roll through, pop, pop, pop. What we're looking for are these little medallions. Really simple, not a lot of science or art here to this prep work. Lemons, we're gonna go in quarters. And the same with the red onion. Down and through. Plenty of citrus. One of the things that I really like about the citrus in a cook like this, in particular the grapefruit, it's gonna add some real nice sour notes, but it's gonna help cut through some of the sharpness of that heat that we're gonna get from both the liquid seasoning as well as the dried herbs. Garlic in half. There's nice big quarters on the onion. like the lemon, things like the onion, things like the grapefruit, the garlic, those are gonna impart flavor, but no doubt the potato is carrying all the flavor, not imparting it. <laughs> all right, now we're just gonna finish with a little bit of fresh parsley really rough and rustic and that's the type of cooking that we're doing out here one of the reasons that i totally love live fire cooking particularly on the primo just allows for so much creativity we have all these amazing fresh flavors all these super cool colors different textures you guys this is honestly going to be one of the very best seafood boils we've ever done Last but not least is the boudin. But before we get to dropping this in the stock pot, quick commentary for my Louisiana friends. If this is boudin, you cannot spell it B-O-U-D-I-N. Us Northerners, we come down here to the South, we ask for boudin, us Yankees, and I don't know, the butcher looks at us like, I don't sell any boudin. I don't have access to boudin here in Texas, but I do have Boudin, that's spelled B-O-U-D-I-N. Someone's got to figure that out. Until then, stock pot. All right, the only thing left to do at this juncture is to close the grill lid and let the Primo Ceramic do what the Primo Ceramic does. And that's cook this boil to perfection. Yo, if you love this episode as much as we loved bringing you on the adventure, do a couple things for me. Smash the subscribe, hit the like, Leave a comment down below and let me know about your very favorite seafood cook. Send some love over to my friends at Primo Ceramic Grills for all these recipes and more. Hit us up at livefirerepublic.com. Till then, time for talk is over. Let's eat. Several, oh my gosh, the massive fish right here. I know, let's yeah. it. All right, now we're doing about four cups of seafood stock. We're gonna use six beers and then we're gonna top it off with a bit of water. Frankly, we don't want the crawdads that drunk. Eek, eek, oh, old person. Okay. Mm. Hot beer, bonus. Bonus. You don't even know us. This ceramic maintains and redistributes the heat maintains and redistributes the heat 
maintains and redistributes. Oh my God. Distributes. Redistributes. 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 Okay. Redistributes. Redistributes. I said redistributes. It's, no, re <laughs> it's redistributes. I don't even remember what you did. Say. I said redistributes. God. We might have to look at the tapes. No more Medellos. Okay, this is the last Medello. Okay, right. When the wind blows, it whistles in my beard. That's a bonus. I feel like you shouldn't have to pay extra for that. No. But it's nice. Then they sell it at a premium. Okay. Ready? Three, yep. two. I don't know what else to say. So maybe just like cut scene.